everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flat tour. So I'll be showing off all of the stuff that's in this room, the stuff that's behind me, the stuff that's behind you guys, in the living room, everywhere. Everywhere in the house. Flat. It's a flat, flat, flat. I promised my friend some bookish games are like in November 2016 that I would do this video and it's now, um, what are we in? July? July 2017 and I'm only just now doing it. Because that's me! <laughs> I've already pre-filmed the tour so I'm just filming this now but I want to just quickly apologise for the fact that it might be a bit dark, I'm not too, too sure, I haven't edited it yet. But um, I tried my best to do lighting with lamps and stuff but this house is very dark, very dim I discovered while trying to film this video. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this flat tour. Here you go! So this is my living room slash kitchen. This area is like just around the corner from the living room, so the light from the living room doesn't actually light it up. So it's a bit of a pain to show on camera, but I'm going to do my best. The first canvas I have here is a Spider-Man, followed by an Iron Man. And then I've got a big Naruto poster, which I really love. I got it from HMV, I think it was 4 quid, and then £10 for the frame. Then we have Wonder Woman, and then Captain America. And then at the side here, which has a big space, because I'm hoping to get another one to put in between these two, we have a Superman and a Hulk. And at this little side of the wall here, we have an Ant-Man, which I really love. I just like the, the colours, the reds and stuff in it. And then underneath, we have another Captain America. And here we have a phone. And that's a radiator. So here, we have another Spider-Man canvas. And we have some of my fun So we have the three Tekkens at the side, and we've got a Wonder Woman. Um, two Naruto's, a Rock Candy, Lara Croft, and a two big Kuramas. We have a Mass Effect, Andromeda Nomad little model. Then we got Lara Croft again. It's a Funko Pop, and then three Rangers. And then... We go to my PS Vita collection, which is really dark. One second. That should be a little better. So yeah, this is my PS Vita collection. This is where all my PS Vita games are. It goes down three shelves full of PS Vita games. And then we get to my PS4 collection, a few more PS4 games at the bottom, and then some Nintendo 3DS games. Then we have my sofa, which looks a very strange colour in this camera for some reason. But I'm actually getting rid of this soon. I'm going to get a little leather sofa, which will be nice, hopefully. If it fits, I have no idea. Then I have two more canvases, which are my Daredevil ones. I really love them. The reason I love this one so much is because it's got my last on it. It's got a lecture on it. And I really want a big one with a lecture on it, but the palette here doesn't exist. So I'm just going to have to set off for this and hope that'll be okay. And also, there's a lamp. Then in my windowsills, I've got this little cat thing from Malta. I think my friend brought it back from when she visited. I can't remember where that came from. I've never been to Malta though, so someone must have brought me it. And I've got this little... Spider-Man canvas, which I think is really cool. I can't remember where that came from either. I think someone brought me that. I've got this thing, which someone definitely brought me, which is something to do with cats. And then I've got some of them bad taste bear peeps just chilling in the car. Then I have a picture of me and my mum when I was a baby. There's a little canvas thing for cats. And then I have this picture frame of my rabbit, which is, don't judge me, it may be weird, but it's the fact that it's in like a dog frame <laughs> is what I find weird about this. I don't know why I have it in a dog frame. I don't even know where this dog frame came from. But I have a picture of my rabbit, which is no longer with us, R.I.P., inside of a dog frame. Because that's just who I am. So in between of my uh, blinds, I have this Supergirl canvas, which I really love. I think it's so cool, so it's great. And then underneath here, I have some more Funko Pops. I'm pretty much run out of space now for my Funko Pops, hence why I load them until it's sideways. But this is where all of my Marvel ones are, and my Buffy Vampire Slayer, and then an Alien, and then a Kratos, which is lying flat. Sorry, Kratos, but I couldn't display it. And then some more Marvel at the top. Then inside of this lovely little area thing is pretty much just some DVDs, like a shit ton of DVDs, like, and apparently a big OC box set, and I've never seen a show, so I don't know why I have that, but I do. In this little drawer, I have a bunch of gaming stuff. There's like some Nintendo 64 games, some other random shit. It's just a drawer of shit. I don't know why I'm showing you it. A radiator. Some more canvases, an Iron Man, a Hulk, and then a really cool Spider-Man, and then I have my TV. And my kind of gaming setup where I play my PS4 and that. And my TV is currently on YouTube because that's the only thing I seem to ever go on. We've got some Minx and then some Pewds and then DLive and then I think that's Trisha Payetta's I can't tell but videos, you know. This looks a bit dark so hopefully you guys can see this but uh, my PS4 is at the top there with a little light shining. Underneath it is my Xbox One. Then to the side here we have my PS3, a Blu-ray player and then a region, a multi-region DVD player. Then I literally just have more drawers of shit. There's charges and wee bass stuff. And then literally a drawer of wires. I just I just pretend that doesn't exist. I just I just I just act like, like it's not there. Oh also there's a knuckleback pass for when I went to see knuckleback. That's that's cool. That's great. Cool. Let's just never look in there again. 
And then I have some more canvases. I have this really awesome Spider-Man one, which is him beating the Green Goblin. I think that's such a cool canvas. I love the flames and how it looks. And I've got a big X-Men one, and then I have a Silver Surfer, because you know what? I don't feel the Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer. I, I cannot speak to save my life. But I don't feel he gets enough love, and I just think it's a really cool cover as well, so I really wanted it. And then, underneath him, we have my kind of PC, my game, my other gaming self. This is where I full on record all of my gaming videos that I do, and I guess paralysis the internet. So this is my computer screen, it looks really dark again, I'm sorry if you can't see this. And there's my keyboard, which again just looks like a black mess. I don't even think you can see a single thing. But over here we have Sam and Dean, hey guys, how are you doing? Some of my Mass Effect, some more Funko Pops of course, Mass Effect this time, just like my little Mass Effect space. So we've got Liam Costa, Commander Shepard and Scott Ryder, how are you guys doing? And then this little thing, and it quagmire to a calendar. Then this little mass effect thing that I have to build, which isn't going to happen. I am never going to be able to do that. That thing can just stay sealed and just, just look pretty there. And here is my PC. It's currently dusty and got wires all over it. But this is what I use to record all of my videos. I don't actually know what make it is, but it looks cool. It's got like a little side to it where you can see in. But yeah, it's a really handy little piece of equipment. And then of course, there is my lovely gaming chair, which I love very much. And it's, uh, this was like, I can't remember how much this was, but it's, it's a good little chair, it's comfy, and it's got like a nice rock back feature. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, let's just move on. And this is my lovely coffee table. I have some marble coasters and a drink and then some shit. But then what is underneath of this is a Wii, an Xbox 360. We have a Nintendo 64, my Dreamcast, and then the two that I use the most is my new 3DS XL and my PS Vita, which is the thing I collect the most for and I love to death, but I haven't used it in a while because I've been using a lot of my PS4 stuff. Now into the kitchen, I have a Justice League poster, picture, picture frame thing, I have an X-Men one, then over here past the window we have a Captain America, and then we have like this really cool Spider-Man like player, it like pops out, you can't really see on here but it looks really cool. In my window I have a, like a bunch of these statue things, I don't even know where they came from, but I have them and I didn't know where to put them and I thought they looked kind of cool in the window. In here is a washing machine. Wow! A cupboard of food! How amazing! It's a microwave! And some kitchen roll! And a kettle! And a chopping bar with some bread! Then there's a cooker! And then there's a pizza box and some cardboard and shit! And a toaster! And a new like oven! Amazing! Who'd have thought that would be in the kitchen, hey? Plates and shit. Cups and shit. That's my smeg fridge. Love my smeg fridge. Like, come on, it's a smeg fridge, man. Next is like my spare bedroom slash collectible room, which I'll show off a lot better. Oh, hey, there's a cat there. And this is the room, which has stuff. So this first glass cabinet has some Tomb Raider stuff on the top. And then as we go into the cabinet, there's a shit ton of DC figures. I got these at a really good price, actually. I think I paid 100 quid for 79 of the figures and they all come with the boxes and magazines. The boxes are currently on top of my wardrobe in another box. Then underneath those guys is a bunch of Danganronpa merchandise and a bit of Persona 4 at the back and some more DC stuff. I don't think you can see because like, hey, there you can see me. That's me. Great. But uh, no, that's really cool. I love them. And at the very, very bottom is some Walking Dead stuff, some more Marvel, Danganronpa, Monokuma, bigger figure, and then it's like, and Michael Myers, bobblehead in the back, and then some Alien vs Predator stuff. But again, I don't think you can see it because I am not a very good YouTuber. And then on the other glass cabinet, we have some Xena merch, and then a Kasumi, Electra, a little bit of Mass Effect, some Naruto, and another Xena hat. Then inside, we have a bunch of Buffy stuff here. We have the Master and like a really awesome Faith statue, and two more Cordelia and the Uber Vamp, and then these little lunchbox tin things, which have got like gum candies inside. Next down we have some more Buffy merch, some figures, a teddy bear, which I don't really know what relates to Buffy, but apparently it does, so I brought it. Then some shot glasses and top drums and the radio, and then some more. We've got like a, a, a gum buddy, a dispenser, CD case, a cup, some pictures and coasters and a bunch of shit like that. Then at the very bottom, if you can just see, is a bunch of Xena merch, just like magnets and some of these statues and a watch. It's some good shit. Then on this bookcase, at the very top of it, is a, all the Buffy and Angel videos, apart from season one, which I do have. I have no idea where it is. I need to find it, but it's somewhere. And then I have these really awesome, like, I guess, what are they called? Like, tree ornament type things for the Christmas tree, but I don't use them like that. We've got these what box set with the dudes in it, and then we've got the Willow doll, and then some more Buffy and your stuff, and a birthday card, which my best mate brought me, which I really love, and I'm probably never gonna use. Then on the actual bookcase itself, 
is all of my Buffy figures. I've got about, I want to say about 18, 90 of them. And it's a real shame I can't display them, but I tried to put them on the wall and I'll show you right now. Um, I use sticky hooks and they just fell to the wall and I have like, all these little marks all over my wall. So I'm trying to figure out how to sort that out, but it, it's not going so well. So yeah, as much as I would really like to display them all, this is the best they can do. They don't get damaged here and they're kind of neat and just to the side. Radiator. Smaller radiator. And the cat that has its own cover, but decides that no, it wants to sleep on the actual bed itself. So I have to wash all of its hairs off later. Thank you, thank you Minnie. You, 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 you are a star. Yes you are. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. And then on the bed there's just a sea of like old teddies I guess. Most of these I had from when I was a kid and I'm like, I can't get rid of them. And also can we talk about how Crash is being extremely sassy with its crow's legs? Thank you Crash, I appreciate that. But all of these guys were in two massive bin bags and I didn't know what to do with them and I, they were taking up space so I just chucked them on the bed and it, it looks kind of like a serial killer did it, didn't it? Yeah, this, this is this is a bed for a serial killer. Great. I have more canvases on the wall. Here we have Spider-Man crashing through a window. We have this one which is really cool. It's like a bunch of different covers from different Marvel characters, which I think is really awesome. And then we have this other Spider-Man where he's like jumping. What you jumping for, Spidey? Then we have these two really awesome Wonder Woman ones, which are on the back of the wall. This one I really like, the white one. I think she looks cool. And then she looks kind of like emo over here. Why are, you, why, 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 why are you looking like that, hey? And then we have this really long thin Iron Man one, which I think is really cool. I don't, I don't, I think it was like two quid. I literally paid two quid for it and hence why I brought it. <laughs> then here we have more Buffy stuff. This is where a lot more Xena is. Pretty much a lot of it is Xena. Then we have some Tomb Raider, some Charmed. You can't really see what's going on. It's just a bunch of Resident Evil, some Buffy cards and some Buffy towels actually. You know, I just, I just, I see the word Buffy and, and I have to buy it. I, I have to buy it. And then at the very bottom is a bunch of stuff I am yet to unpack and it is still in bubble wrap. I've been here nearly a year and it's still not finished and then there's my PC box and some dirty laundry. Fantastic! We're now currently in my hallway and this is my front door. What a great front door that is. Isn't that the best front door you've ever seen in your goddamn lives? Smashing! And then next to my door is this little cupboard and have you guys seen that Friends episode where Chandler's trying to find out what's in Monica's secret door and they finally open it and it's just filled with like shit that she doesn't know how to clean and organize. Well this is my little area, oh well you can't even see it, but like let me tell you this is just a big mess. <laughs> it's shoes, step ladders, buckets, plastic bags, ironing bars and just general shit I have no idea where to put and so I just I keep it in here and, and keep it locked away and no, no, one, no one knows. No one knows what's in there, apart from now, because I'm showing it off. Great. Also, can we talk about this Hoover? That's a nice Hoover. We don't appreciate Hoovers enough. This is a grand Hoover, everyone. It's quiet, it's easy, it moves. I mean, that's what a Hoover's supposed to do, so you know. It, it's doing it. Another canvas of Captain America this time, which, again, just canvases everywhere. And over here is a Batman one, which actually is pretty cool. And then, we have another spider. How are you doing spider? You're always hanging around. And also can we talk about this? Whoever did this did not do a good job. There is literally a building like coming through Spider-Man. Like, like, uh, who made this panel? Who made this? Why? Radiator. Some shoes. My shoes, surprisingly. This is the bathroom. You get the idea. There's a bath, a shower, a sink, a toilet. Wow, fascinating. Radiator. And this is my bedroom where I sleep. How fantastic. So just behind me is this lovely alien canvas who gets to watch me sleep every night. Thank you alien for watching over me. Then we have some books on top of this desk which is filled with all my bills and shit and then some comics. An electric comic which is just on the floor and not even put away neatly. Why are you down there? And then there's also a bunch of CDs. Wow, cool. Oh and a money box. And some pennies. Fascinating, fascinating life I lead. So up here we have some Electra stuff, which, because I love Electra, if you didn't know. And then there's this really awesome Sydney Bristol alias bus, which I really want to get in a glass cabinet, but I haven't got another glass cabinet yet. So for now it's just there, kind of on display, but it will be out of the box eventually. Then I have the entire Buffy magazine DVD set, and then this really awesome Buffy box set. Then underneath, I have the entire Angel magazine DVD set, then like the special one-offs with the certain episodes from each series, and then an Angel box set, 
Then just more DVDs, Charmed, Alias, Bone, True Calling, Naruto, Supernatural, Family Guy, American Dad, South Park, Ugly Betty, a bunch of really awesome DVDs, because I collect then on this bookcase I have the two boxes, these two figures you've just seen in the other room which I have out of the box in the display cabinet, then I have some Blu-rays, just this light size pretty much Marvel only and then there's like anime and just a bunch of different shit which is cool and then also this thing which is in my way which is my, my clothes lines which has some socks and this really uh, and then they have these fantastic blinds which don't really work too well, they literally are like all jagged and open at sides so I don't really like them but if I open them they go off funny so I just tend to remain to keep them closed. You know, because I don't really spend much time here until I go to bed so you know it's fine, no one's going to judge me except for you people watching so don't, don't, don't do that, don't, don't judge. Then they have this spare wardrobe thing because I have got too many clothes apparently which is surprising because I don't, I don't really wear more than the same four bloody t-shirts it feels but then there's some coat hangers on top of it, why are you there coat hangers? I don't know but you are. And it's literally doing this weird leaning thing. It's leaning forward and I'm feeling offended by it, I don't appreciate it. And then we have a box next to it which is filled with Buffy posters and like some Xena kites and just random shit. And then some stuff at the side there which is where all my old castle kits for the castle I quit because the castle shit. Then we have another pip case filled with DVDs. This one's mainly horror films to be fair and then a few box set. I think at the very bottom if you can just see there's like a friends box set and some other random stuff down there but it's cool, awesome. Then on the back of the wall where my bed is facing we have this awesome Wonder Woman. This is probably my favourite Wonder Woman uh, canvas I have. I love it, I just love the colours and I love her as big in the background and her on the little jet. Then you have this Batgirl one which again I think is really awesome. I love, I feel like the women in DC get, are a lot more underrated than the women in Marvel. I feel like Marvel shows off their women a lot more than DC does. Wonder Woman's the only one that really comes to their forefront to be fair when it comes to DC I feel. Then I have this really awesome Marvel one which is like all the different Marvel characters lined up in a, I guess, like a police thing where they take your photo. It's really cool. Then we have this Catwoman one, which I just love. I love Catwoman. She's probably my favourite character from DC. I think she's so cool. Um, I kind of wish she was wearing like a more of a Catwoman outfit that she has, but I, I still love it. Then this is my fantastic bed, which has a Batman cushion and a Family Guy pillow, because you know, apparently I just don't match anything to like stuff. This, this doesn't match, does it? it, it it's wrong. Then we have my wardrobe which has this Alone in the Dark limited edition box set, a box which is filled with all the boxes for the DC things which are in the living room and then like clothes and stuff and then a TV, wow and then drawers, cool! Then we have another Wonder Woman canvas, this time I think this is the first canvas I've ever got and I really like it, it's just some panels from one of the comics, it's whatever it is. Then here we have a load of electric things from this way from here down is literally just nothing but electric then above this is a few marvel uh, marvel mass effect ones because i'm obsessed with mass effect at the moment then we have this really awesome Ezio. uh like i don't know what this is it, it's cool it cost me like three quid from a shop randomly that had it i think it's just so cool and cute i'm like okay how are you doing dude then we have this little batman dog extra large whatever it is and a charm book on top of it because i have nowhere else here to put this charm book apparently how are you doing up there last you all right good then this is my other gaming area which is top line PS3 games and a random little Kratos in the corner there. How are you doing Kratos? Are you doing good? Yeah, okay, good for you. Then we have all my PSP games and the PSP UMDs. Then it goes to PlayStation 1 and then a few Dreamcasts. That's why I'm keeping my Dreamcast games. Then we have all the Xbox One games which are, is free. I only have three of them. And then a bunch of Xbox 360 and then the Xbox Originals. Then at the very bottom it's the last bit of Xbox originals and in all of my PlayStation 2 and then some Wii games. And then lastly I have this Captain America canvas which I think is really cool. It's a bit different and I really like that. Then on the back of my door is just where I keep like my hoodies, dressing arms and coats and shit. Oh and then there's this box which I want to get rid of and I want to sort out but my cat's decided she likes it as a bed so I don't move it in case she goes all bitch tits and tries to kill me for it. Oh and also underneath my bed is a bunch of Buffy the Vampire Slayer books and a bunch of other random crap which I just put under there because I don't know where to put it I have no space for but no the Buffy books are crap though the Buffy books are great I love my Buffy books and there's Buffy comics and a bunch of other shit there's just so much underneath there okay okay guys that is the end of the flat tour I hope you enjoyed this little video if you did please remember to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and follow my social media links in the description below thank you all for watching you're all amazing and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>